yeah, we can't wait to, to really get in that domestic mix. Like I said, I was running too much on Saturday, but for whatever reason, it's not happening. Who being well on Saturday, do you feel like the McKenna fight could be the next one? If he wants to take it this time. Oh, well, Jeremy, man. So he has his nine fights. He's been against all guys with losing records, so until he steps up and fights someone good, I think he should look for a, a rematch with the guy he fought in the amateurs. We knocked him out uh, just two years ago. That's the type of fight you should be looking for first. And then come to me. I'm looking in front of me. I'm not looking behind me. I'm looking to get into the top ten in the world. Why don't you take the fight now? What's stopping you from taking the fight now? No one knows yet. you. You're talking about record. You're talking about Instagram about ranking or I've got a higher board ranking. You got knocked out there a couple of years ago in the amateurs. We, we're talking about me and you. Why aren't you taking the fight? I'd find you no problem. Okay, so we'll take the fight. Right. I think at least uh, this wasn't meant to be the face of part of the of the press up. I'll be honest. But, um, yeah, the press conference was exciting. Uh, I think it went very well. Uh, I don't think Shaquille knows what, he, what he's in for. And uh, I see a scared man behind that voice and he's just a puppet being told what to say. Yeah, I think he's just being told what to say. Even up there at the press conference, all he was able to say was take the fight, take the fight. That's the only thing he was saying. So someone's definitely in his ear and whoever it is, uh, <laughs> um, Shaquille should know better and, and not to listen to him because he's going to make a big mistake by trying to get a fight with me. Just stay in your own lane, you haven't really achieved anything yet in this boxing game. You gotta fight one a guy with a winning record and then you can maybe start calling me out and then we can fight. But like I said, it's a 12 round fight and we're fighting on that 160. Be ready. In the amateurs, I think one of his last amateur fights, not even that long ago, like two, two and a half years ago, a guy who's pro now, who's like seven and the same type of record as Shaquille, Knocked him out bad with, with head guards on as well, and I think they were even like 12 or 14 ounce gloves. So it's bad when you're getting knocked out like that in the amateurs, never mind the pros. So he's a club level, level fighter, like I said, and he needs to take some fighters on with winning records. Yeah, he should be dealing with that first before he starts calling me out. I'm a fighter who's been very experienced as an amateur, and uh, as a pro now, 15 and 0, I'm just looking for world rankings but listen if he keeps winning and does what he says he'll do and gets up to 12 round status I'll, I'll happily find him 160 and uh, and take him on but he's only a six round fighter um, he's bleeding at the weight he's like six foot three and very skinny he'll have no energy to come in with me and I'll take him to deep waters he looks like a guy who's no energy even there at the press conference today he looked like he, he wasn't even awake. I woke him up a bit by saying what I said. <laughs> so, yeah, a 12 round fight with him, and I'd give him some batter and just. I'd like to get 12 rounds so I can give him an even batter for more rounds. He'd suit me to a T, a guy that's bleeding at the weight, very skinny, tall, southpaw as well. He's very negative, boring, not really entertaining. No one really likes to watch his style, but I think I take him into deep waters and just keep pounding away at him. and until eventually he, he's out of there. Number 871 is Joseph Walker, maybe they
So I'm going to do as soon as hospitality is closed. What time are you on? Third. Alright. That's about six. Six thirty. Schedule for six three minute rounds. Our referee in charge with the bell rings, Mr. Mark Lyson. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the blue trunks with red trim, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall. And he fights out of Bells Hill, Scotland. Introducing Jordan, the game, Grant. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks with silver trim, he stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed at 11 stone, seven pounds, 10 ounces. He comes to us with a perfect undefeated record of 15 victories. No defeats with eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Los Angeles, California, USA, by way of Smithboro, Ireland. Here is Eric. Silencer, the Kenna! Round one. Six full rounds. We go to referee Mark Lyson for the official decision. He sees the contest 60 to 54, declaring your winner and still undefeated, Aaron Silencer. I know it's out of your control, but sometimes these last few minutes, you just don't know what they're going to bring. Yeah, you don't know, they're unpredictable, uh, especially someone like him who came in very heavy. But um, yeah, it was a good fight for me, and I need to get up to 10 rounds, I think. What did you learn about talking about? Uh, just like how to deal with someone who's really strong, especially with that weight. You get guys probably just going to be really strong, so someone like him, it's a good experience. Yeah,